because for the boys, obviously, you know, you were writing the songs, you were ambitious, you were going for the meetings and getting the record uh, deals and everything. Were you just, was it just a laugh for it, you guys? Well, or? Well, it was kind of accidental, really, because the boys, <laughs> the boys had signed your record deal, they'd recorded the songs, and it wasn't until they got asked, well, we need to perform them uh, in a club, do a PA in a nightclub, which happened to be Bolts, and um, they said, you know the dance routines that we do when we go clubbing? Should we do it? Do you want to come and do it? And we have to mime, get up on stage. And I said, mime, people are going to hate us. They're going to, like, boo us off. And we went up on stage. They It was in the middle of, like, a club. So imagine just turning the music <laughs> off. <laughs> now, wow. And I'm thinking, they're going to hate us. They're going to hate us. And it was silent. And then by the end of it, Everyone was just cheering, clapping. I'd never been on stage before. I'd never done anything. Yeah. So I was kind of thrown in the deep end. And then... It, 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 it just... was. Uh, it was... Well, I mean, it was, a, it was an amateur routine. But the thing... But George and I, Shirley and, and DC Lee, looked great. And it, it was attractive. And it was, yeah. a, it was a good little routine. And also... People hadn't seen anything like it really prior. I suppose there were you could. There was and, oh, but also, like it was a really good pop song. I, I just want to. We're running out of time, but I just want to get to the end of the story. The Wembley, the that the oh, wow. the, the, the day at Wembley, yeah. which is so. You know, I wasn't even there, but I'm watching it. Why? Documentary. Why? <laughs> I was busy, I don't know. I, I think I had a shift in a restaurant. Uh, so uh, I'm watching it so emotional. How emotional was it for you guys, or was it It was it only afterwards that kind of the impact of it hit you? For me, it was never emotional because I all, you know, we've got to remember, we're really, really close friends. So you know that we've all done this. We're also grateful for what we've done. I knew George was going to go on to this solo career. I knew Andrew had loads to do. And Pepsi and I had signed a record deal. Yeah. I'm excited to think, right, Peps, we're going to do our thing now. And But we're, our friendship was so strong, we weren't really losing anything. For you, what struck me was that, you know, so you guys were going off with your record deal, George was doing great. What was it like the next day? What was it like the day after for you, Andrew, when you woke up after Recovering that? Recovering from a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we had... Just going back to the show, I remember, the, the, the George introed we, we, the show and, and with everything she wants, and he, he'd go and perform this routine with the two dancers, and it was... Endless, and I remember oh, Cheryl going up and down, up and oh no, Cheryl, still... Shirley, <laughs> she's up, she's going up we, like... we'd be in tears, but thinking, how much longer? Honestly, I mean, to talk <laughs> that about was his Elvis moment, wasn't it? That's what I thought. The nearest he's come to being Elvis oh, was at Wembley yeah. Stadium. Yeah, hell, hell, but you looked cool. You looked very cool. No, and you are. Pe- you yeah. came in the long black coat. Yeah, 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 yeah. and I take the photo. Off. <laughs> it was all very cool, but it was, it was you know... It very was, tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, very tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. You know, we were playing to the gallery. That was that was part of it, you know. We we, we, we knew what the, the, the general sort of ideas of, you know, the fact that <laughs> I was, you know, a ladies' man, supposedly, and I had Sherl and, and, and um, Pepsi yes. disrobing me on... It was, it was <laughs> yeah, it was tongue-in-cheek. It was all... I, I can't, uh, if people want to relive it, it is so <laughs> brilliantly portrayed in the documentary.